The test launch came only a matter of hours after North Korea's vice foreign minister made a welcome announcement that the regime is willing to come back to the nuclear negotiation table. Will Jung-hee help us read between the lines? Pyongyang reaches out to Washington for dialogue and at the same time shows off its weapons capabilities. Late Monday, Pyongyang's first vice foreign minister, Choi Sun hee issued a statement. She said the North is willing to engage in some comprehensive discussions with the U.S. in late September. She added, however, that the U.S. would have to come to the table with a, quote, new approach, something the regime's leader, Kim Jong-un, called for in his speech in April. But only a few hours later, the North test-fired a couple of as-yet unidentified projectiles. And it was apparently confident in this technology, since the projectiles flew right over North Korea's own territory, coming down 330 kilometers to the east in the sea. Pyongyang's immediate testing of projectiles could raise some eyebrows about how sincere it is about dialogue. But North Korea experts say the regime is surely aware of that and juxtaposed these two actions strategically. Chess statement yesterday is a little different from the North regional stance. Pyongyang used to claim that it will come to the table only if the U.S. has a new approach. But now it says it will first come to the table. It's actually conceding to what U.S. has been calling for. But so it doesn't look like that. The North is launching projectiles at the same time. Pundits say the North also feels the need to test weapons to dispel its security concerns because South Korea is adopting new weapons like the F-35A stealth fighter jets. The North has recently carried out 10 launches, testing four new weapons, which means the regime is still verifying their performance. The continued testing of projectiles, observers say, means that when the North meets with the U.S. next time, it might raise the issue of security guarantees rather than sanctions relief. Oh Jong-hee, Arirang News.